Okay. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, um, if we're trying to take the square root of x squared or x times x, right? If we take the square root, that's x equals x. They're equal to the same the exact thing. So by using the prime factorization, though, which is helpful, all we simply need to do is say, you know, all right, I can take the square root of 3 times 3, which is just 3. I can take the square root of x times x, which is x, square root of x times x, which is x, and square root of y times y, which is y. Now, the only thing I could not pair is 3 and the 2. So those have to remain under the radicule. So I have 3 times 2. Now, I just go ahead and simplify. 3 times x times x times y is 3x squared y times 6. And that's it. Now, I will tell you guys a sim uh, another way that I prefer to do it. Um, the way I like prefer to do it is if you guys like doing the prime factorization, that's perfectly fine. And you just use this method. Find all the groups of 2. The way that I like to do it, I like to do it by taking the square root of numbers that are squared. So what I like to do is rewrite this as squared numbers. So I look at this and I think about, is there a square number that I can rewrite 54 as? Think of the square numbers. You have 4, um, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, or 100. You guys should know at least the first square numbers up to um, 10, which is basically is, um, or the, the, the square numbers up to 100. So, and what we notice is um, 54, 9 divides into it, and 9 is a square number. So I write that as 9 times 6. Would you guys agree that 9 times 6 is 54? Yes. yes. And x, x to the fourth can be written as x squared times x squared times y squared. So again, can I take the square root of 9? Yeah, that's 3. Can I take the square root of x? That's x. Square root of x? That's x. Square root of y? y squared? That's y. I'm just left with 6. Exact same process. I think it's a little bit easier um, and it's a little bit less work. However,